Okay, so let's just kind of go through this real quick. Um, I'm going to go through the first three steps, pretty basic, but I'm going to kind of go through them real quickly. So the first one, describe the end behavior. I'm not going to write this in the mathematical one as we kind of went through it. Uh, actually, yeah, let's just go through this. So for the end behavior, we could say as x, x approaches negative infinity, right? So as, we, as our x values go to negative infinity, our f of x values approach infinity. And then you could say, as my x values approach positive infinity, my f of x values approach also positive infinity. So you can always see that my f of x values are always going to approach positive infinity, right? It doesn't matter if I go to the right or to the left, they're always going to approach positive infinity. Yes? Um, but they're down. Right. They do go down. They come up, then they go down. But as I keep on going farther to the right, where are they going to end up? up to infinity. So remember, it's talking about end behavior, right? Where's the ending behavior going to be? They're going to do a lot of stuff in between the end behavior. But their end behavior is where they're going to end up. That's what we're concerned Did about. They ever go down, right? yep. Yeah, that was our last problem. Remember our last problem? It shot down, right? So we could also say it falls, or sorry, rises left and rises right, all right? Now the next one, I'll pick on Sam to go and answer. No, no, I'm just kidding. You don't have to. Um, but Alex, maybe. Ooh, ah, OK. So what I have is determine if it's an odd or even degree. Two, three, so remember, what we could do is look at the number of zeros. And you could say 1, 2, 3, 4. So therefore, since we have four even zeros, we could say that we know that it's going to be an even degree. For C, we can simply just state the zeros, four. which we could say we have four of them. Then for D, it says determine the smallest degree of the function. So again, we look at the number of turning points. So here we have one, two, three turning points. And remember, turning points was your degree minus one. So if I have three turning points, that means my smallest degree I can have is four. So the smallest degree that my function can be is four. Now I need to determine the domain and range. Oh, I didn't write that in there. Determine range and domain. No, there's the degree is 4. So if the degree is 4, your turning points is 3. Because it's at, at turning points is n minus 1. OK, now the next thing, hold on, you guys will have time a second. Now the next thing we need to look at is determining the domain and range. So ladies and gentlemen, if I plug in a value for x for every single one of these problems, am I always going to have a solution on this graph? Is there a problem that x can? that you cannot plug in for x into this graph? No, if it doesn't matter, guys, even if you, you can see that from this to here, there's always a value for x. And as I keep on going farther out, I'm always going to have values for x. Even though the graph goes really high, there's always going to be a value for x. So for the, for the domain, we can say all, we can pick all values as low as negative infinity to infinity, which a lot of times we just say all real numbers. Now let's look at the range. Because in the range, no matter what value I pick for x, um, if I pick for x, we know that I can have the, the f of x value of 1. I can pick 0 for x, and I get f of x value is 0. I can, um, I can pick all these different solutions. I can get all these different outputs. But can my output ever be as low as here? No, no right? The graph, the lowest the graph goes is negative 1, 2, 3, right? This graph is never going to go below negative 3 because we talked about the end behavior comes up. So for my range, I go to the, my lowest point, which is negative 3, and then it goes all the way up to infinity. And then the last one is find my relative min and max. Well, remember our relative min and max. Here's going to be your relative min. And here's going to be my relative max, okay, which are going to be my turning points. All right, there you go.